Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Communities Live here on Sheffield Live 93.2 FM. And we have Festival Director and Programming Director, Programmer Director, E. Wang. Good afternoon. Hi, thanks for having me. So, um, give us a bit of background. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I, um, I of course, I work for the festival uh, called Queer East, which is a festival that showcases uh, queer cinema, life arts, and movie image works from East and Southeast Asia and its diaspora community. Uh, myself, I look after the festival, uh, look after the program, and I'm also a freelance uh, creative producer uh, in performing arts. And I'm going to ask um, about Queer East Festival. I mean, how did it start? Yeah, so I think Queer East starts from a very self, self selfish and personal experience, I think. So when I came to the UK back in pretty much eight years ago, mm -hmm. uh, I just sort of realized that I don't really have a chance to see a lot of queer cinema that's about East and Southeast Asian communities that is about my heritage, uh, the, the history uh, back in like East and Southeast Asian different countries. Yeah. So, so then I just feel like why not put on a festival uh, that dedicate to these cinemas that I feel that important and I feel re relevant to um, people here in the UK. So we ju I just started the festival uh, in 2020, which is a brilliant year for starting a new festival. Yeah. Uh, of course, like, we, we suffer a lot. From, yeah. <laughs> suffer a lot from like a COVID pandemic lockdowns. Uh, but I'm extremely glad that uh, the festival has been grown since then. And now we are sort of like quite a decent size of festival. Like we usually host two weeks festival in London across 10 venues. And we also have the chance of bringing this festival highlight to over 10 cities um, in the UK. Um, so, yeah. And I've got to ask, I mean, was there like a certain film that you watched that inspired you to create this festival? Um, I would say that um, it's, it's, I don't think it's a specific film that inspired me, but I, what I find uh, during my time in the UK is when we talk about East and Southeast Asian queer cinema, people seem to only mention, for example, Wang Gawai is Happy Together. Yeah. Oh, and these wedding banquet, which like these are the two films that are pretty much being screened every year or every month. And of course, I adore these two films, super classic films. And but like I sort of think like we shouldn't just like like continuing bring these two films back again sure. and again. And so they are sort of my inspiration in a way, right? Like like. Yeah, like I want to see more, and then I think people should see more. So yeah, so. And uh, I mean, you're coming to the UK, uh, the Queen East. I mean, tell us uh, where where is it going to be based? Uh, sorry, you mean the festival or? Yeah, sorry. Where's yeah, where's the festival based in uh, the UK, so people can go to see it. Yeah, so uh, of course, like in spring, we host our festival in London. And uh, so like we are London based festival, but like um, since 2021, we start doing these like a nationwide tour. So um, like this year we will be, we already been to Man uh, Manchester, uh, Kent, and this week, from this week, we will be in Sheffield, Nottingham, Edinburgh, Belfast, and Leeds. So it will run throughout until December. And I mean, are there still tickets still available for the public? Yes, yes. So if you just head to uh, createast.org.uk or just in our, on our social media, we are on Twitter and uh, Instagram, uh, or at Queer and uh, you will find uh, where are we going. And 
of course, like this week, we will be in Sheffield from tomorrow until 23rd. And uh, for, I mean, for our listeners, uh, sorry, for our listeners at all who want to get involved with these kind of festivals, how can people get involved? I, oh, yeah. I mean, there are many ways you can get involved. So uh, first, uh, if you are a filmmaker or if you are an artist, we are currently open for submissions. So if you have any works related to East and Southeast Asian queer communities, just submit to us and you will get a chance to be presented at our festival next year. We are also currently open for guest program. So if you are film curators, um, film uh, programmers that are interested in putting on events about East and Southeast Asian queer cultures, then um, you can submit your program idea to us as well. And if you are interested in working the festival behind the scene, uh, we always open for uh, paid roles, festival assistant, but also open for volunteer as well. Uh, this should be happen. We should open for that next um, February. So just keep an eye on our website and then all the opportunities will be listed on our website. I mean, I've got to ask this. I mean, uh, for people, uh, when we send the films off to the festival, I mean, is it quite a difficult process to choose which one goes to see which one you can see at this, 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 this festival? Sorry. Uh, sorry, you mean? You know, like the films that you uh, bring on to the Queer East? What you take. Yeah. I mean, is it quite a difficult, is it quite a long process that do you like watch every single film that the creators bring or do you have to pick and choose and then decide what you show at the, um, the festival? Yes, I, I would say yes. So, um, of course, like we are very specific, specific festival, so we have a specific requirement in terms of the films we want to show. Yeah. But still, like every year we get around. 200 films, uh, we watch all of them. Uh, of course, like in our festival, we watch all the films submit to us. And then we pick up those films that we feel uh, uh, deserve, like I, we feel like we should bring them to audience. And it's always de um, sort of depending on different reasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah. It's quite a tough job, I would say. <laughs> I've got. To, I mean, I've got to ask you this one as well. I mean, you say there's about two hundred people or oh, oh, two hundred films altogether that's being sent. I mean, for the festivals itself, I mean, how many do you roughly pick around for the for the full festival? Yeah. So at the moment, our capacity, uh, in these two years, we can do to uh, up to sixty films. So among these sixty. Uh, 60 films, half of them will be feature films, half of them are show films, artist uh, movie image. So that's sort of what the capacity we are doing at the moment. Um, Because the festival is only two weeks and then like we only do evening screenings. So yeah, we can't really show a lot in a way, but yeah. it's quite a decent amount. And then we always ensure that we cover films that from East and Southeast Asian regions from different countries, so audience can have a full experience of um, what's the current queer landscape in East and Southeast Asia. And uh, I mean, one more, I mean, we already mentioned it before, but just for a reminder for our listeners, uh, so for anybody that wants to get their films uh, shown, uh, how do they send it to you? Uh, yeah, so uh, we are doing our film submissions through Film Freeway. So the link will be on our Instagram uh, handles and also on our website. So just go to there and then you will see all the requirements. And it's quite an easy process. Uh, if you are in financial need, we have uh, like a free submission code. So just get in touch with us and then you can submit your film to us for free. And yeah. And uh, for our listeners at home, is there like a cost for the festival, for tickets? Yes. So uh, all the tickets, yeah. Like uh, we just work with cinema. So like um, it will, um, like all the tickets are various, depends on how, sing on what, how much cinema charges. But of course, we always ensure that we have tickets for students, tickets for 
um like also I discounted it for different needs and if you yeah and my final question for you is uh what would you like to say to our audience um i would say uh i think what i say is i really i strongly encourage people to give our festival a try we are showing those films that you probably won't have any other chance to see um Netflix, Amazon, uh, all these films are very rarely seen uh, in the UK and uh, tell powerful and very um, uh, strong stories love from the community that we don't really talk a lot about. So uh, try to come to our screenings and then it will give you something different. E, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.